Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anuj. I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur, and also welcome back to the vlog. This vlog starts off pretty early at around 7:15, where I take out my bike and go for a very joyous cycle ride around my neighborhood. Cycling is one of the new things that I'm doing this year, and it is part of my New Year's resolution. As this year, I want to get more fitter and also sharpen up my rectus abdominis if that's possible. Well, I make my way upstairs and in the dream of sharpening my rectus, I do some push-ups for the camera and automatically make a magic healthy breakfast for myself. Next, I head upstairs to my room only to find that it is completely messed up and I really need to clean it up. So, here comes the time lapse. After cleaning the room, I grab my daily journal and put out all the things that I need to do in a to-do list kind of fashion. All right, I'll be back in just one second. I'm back, I've just showered in one second and let's get back to today's work. The first thing that I'm doing today is actually studying toxicology from Marrow, which is taught very well by Dr. Akhilesh Raj. And I guess the notes which Sir is providing uh, is actually very, very helpful because it is studded with mnemonics. As Marrow Edition 5 is dropping soon this month, uh, I would like to ask you, would you like me to make a review on it? Anyways, the lectures that I'm doing over here are basically four, organic irritant poisons, alcohols, somniferous poisons, delirium poisons, spinal and cardiac poisons. So basically toxicology is all about different kinds of poisons. Marrow is especially helpful to read when the subjects are difficult to understand. Especially for me, forensic medicine is kind of difficult. The usual way that I approach Marrow modules is that first of all, I watch the video lectures and then take out the notes while I'm at it. Next, I revise the notes again and again. They may be physical or digital and try to make some questions out of them. When that is done, I read the book and add some missing points to the notes. And after all of that is done, I do some flashcards or some cue banks from Marrow itself. And as you might be familiar, that's how I use Marrow on a day-to-day -day basis. Along with Marrow, I also use Pathoma, Sketchy and various other resources that I've already talked about in my previous videos. That was a lot of toxicology. Finally, the toxic things are done. Da -da 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 -da. After doing toxicology, a chat with my friend Aditi was serving as an antidote. Alright, so the next thing on my list is actually planning out the content that you're going to be seeing on this channel for the next three months. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, you see, exams are going to be coming over soon and I don't want to be the person who does not have videos uploading even when exams are there. I will have to make them beforehand and then schedule them beforehand so it's a lot of work for me this month but hopefully that should give me two months worth of free time so that i could focus completely on my examination so the process of doing that is actually pretty easy i have all the video ideas that i want listed out in my notebook i will just write them down over here and then see which one should we balance out in which month so that it all stays a very fun and fruitful mix for everybody so let's get going Alright, so if you're just a new YouTuber starting out YouTube, I highly suggest you do the same. The reason is because if you have your content planned out way before, then it really helps you make the videos better, plan out the script better and basically do everything in a better way. What I'm doing over here is actually dividing my entire schedule into four basic columns. That is the date of the video, the title of the video, the type of the video and the sponsor of the video. This gives me a spatial orientation to knowing which video it comes out when and what sponsors are going to be in that video itself. Yo, so I've just planned out the entire content till 11th of April. Today for reference is uh, 15th of January and content till 11th of April has been planned. That's an achievement unlocked for me because I remember the times when it used to happen that a video was supposed to come out on Sunday and on Wednesday I used to decide the topic on which I should make the video on. So I think by the time that you are like 60 or 70 videos down into YouTube, you will probably get to understand what scheduling stuff is. And hopefully this all entire plan works out and hopefully you guys enjoy seeing it also. Alright, now let's get some lunch. I'm hungry and play Minecraft with Ashutosh. After lunch was done, I come back upstairs and adjust my monitor and my desk into the computer mode, which is kind of like this and it looks fantastic. And the reason I'm doing this is because right now I'm going to watch some sketchy pharmacology videos. The videos that I'm watching are of tetracyclines, clindamycin and macrolides. 
If you're a second year student just starting out, I highly suggest you sketchy micro at least if not patho and pharmac because it just makes life so much easier and if you're a visual learner like me, it really really helps you out. As sketchy pharmac is done, I open up my Anki on my browser and this year's second resolution comes into play that is solving more Anki and this is hugely inspired by my very dear friend Mad About Medicine. You can definitely check out his channel, it's great. Whenever I'm doing Anki nowadays, I always try to maintain a triad. First of all, I open up my window to see all the clouds outside. I get myself something to drink, in this case a coffee, which I've already finished. And the third thing is I plug on some beautiful music from the playlist, which is linked in the description. Alright, so watching videos is done and taking notes is done, flashcards are done, planning out everything is done and now I'm going to play some games. First I'll try GTA 5 and then I'll play Minecraft with my brother Ashutosh. Alright, so it was around 3.30 when I decided I am done with studying and I should play some games. First I started GTA 5 but after doing it so many times I just ended up watching Phineas and Ferb on Disney+. Plus. I really enjoyed that show as a kid and I hope that you did too. And then my brother Ashutosh called me and we went mining for some coal and iron inside Minecraft. We came back up and my cat was doing this on the farm. Very strange, I don't know why it seemed to do that. And then it ran away. So it's around 8 now and after like 2 hours straight of Minecraft, I'm here eating this wonderful soup which my mom made for us. So soup ke baad, I'll do pharmacology charts. I enjoy the soup while watching Jerry Rig Everything video. I wonder if he watches my videos. So I was just checking my DM and I got to know that some of you guys are joining first year from February of 2021. And they are asking me what should we do before the college starts. So my answer would be that you start reading General Anatomy from BDC's book. And if you can also, then you should download the atlas and view all the images that you can. That would really help you a lot. Apart from that, physiology, read general physiology. And in biochemistry, don't worry, just watch Dr. Rajay Jambulkar sir's entire channel. That would just complete everything. Alright, I hope that has helped you. Otherwise, watch this video which I made, what to do before college starts. And let's go upstairs. What I'm making over here are actually pharmacology flowcharts. If you're familiar with my website, then you should be knowing that there are some beautiful biochemistry flowcharts that are on sale. And what I'm doing over here is actually making a pharmacology flowchart. should be available on the website very soon. After dinner is done, I grab my iPad and sit for a 35 minute session with my friend to discuss central nervous system pharmacology, that is the drugs in the class of anti-epileptics. As examination is coming up, discussion is what I always prefer to do. At around 11.30, I pick up my newest book, Ikigai, and learn about the Japanese secret to a long and happy life. With all of this done in a day, I finally pat my plant oxygen a very good night and then go to sleep myself. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, which of course you did, please smash the like button and show your support. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button. It's the big red button which says subscribe. And also hit the bell notifications. The reason why I ask you to do this is because it makes up for all the time, effort and energy that I put into making such beautiful videos. All right, with that being said, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy, my dear friends. Until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon.